We were sitting at home. We were watching TV. She was sitting in her chair and she started having trouble breathing. She said, call 911. And I guess she went into cardiac arrest out there in the thing. They done CPR. They were doing CPR on her. And then <clears throat> they uh, we got to the hospital. They said that she they got her in in the machine there and got her. Uh, had to shock her two or three times. But they finally got her to where she could be on her own, but with help of the machine, but she could be on her own. Mm -hmm. I mean, on her own, but with help of the machine. Uh, so everything seemed to be okay, you know. But they were going to take her up to ICU, which she'd been there before. So I thought everything going to be okay. They took her upstairs, and then out come this joker saying that she and had... The joker, you, you're talking about Dr. Hussle. Yeah. He said that she's brain dead, and the machine is, she had no, the machine wouldn't bring her back, and uh, she, the, her lungs wouldn't, uh, wouldn't uh, bring her back in. And then I lost it. I couldn't. Did you not believe him? Oh, I believed him. I had no choice. He's a doctor. I mean, I don't know. I first... Can I go over that timeline with you real quick? Absolutely. Seven, go 737, that. she arrives. The, the squad says they, they get her to the hospital around 737 p.m. Mm hmm. Uh, then uh, they, they uh, go through the emergency room, call the surgeon down, you know, take care of the pneumothorax with a chest tube. At, she goes up to ICU. At 11.15, the pharmacist signs off on the fentanyl dosage. At 11.23, 600 micrograms of fentanyl were given along with Versed. Then the notes show at 11.28, it was then at 11.28 that the family decided to make a withdrawal of care. So apparently it was five Ooh. minutes after the 600 so micrograms. So he was actually, the fentanyl was given to her before? Well, I'm just telling you what the records show. At 1123, the fentanyl was given. At 1128, it's noted that the family made a decision to withdraw care. And then at 1153 was the time of death. You know, you always think, could have something else happened? Because I couldn't figure out. The doctor downstairs in the ER said she was fine, just her heart was working fine. And in uh, just a very short time, and she goes up to the ICU and nothing? Just not? That don't make sense. When he said she was brain dead. What did he, did he ask you something specifically then? He that? said, can you pull the plug? And now me and my wife have always said, if, and me and her agreed, if there's no ch chance of ever coming back, and I have a life, I have a willing, living will also, if there's no chance of me coming back, pull the plug. Mm -hmm. And I agree with you that there's no chance of me coming back, but if he put, put that medicine in her to where she can't come back, because if he had put that medicine in her, and if I'd known that, I'd have said, wait a minute, stop. Don't do that. I mean, I've been around the military. I've been around druggies. And uh, when they're coming down, Sure, they can't get their mind working, they can't get their heart working and stuff, but if you come down, if you come down and maybe your mind start working again, your heart might start working again, your lungs might start working again, 
So I said, if I'd have known that, he gave it up, I'd have said, wait a minute, stop. Let's see if that, maybe her mind can start. If I'd have known he'd done that. If, he'd gave, if I'd known he gave her that drug, I'd have said, whoa, stop. Let's see if I can get the, let's see if we can get her mind started again. Let's see if we can get her drug, heart started again. But I didn't know he did it. I didn't know he gave her any drugs. I had no idea. <laughs>